Hi there, this is Patrick. I'm excited to show you what VET keys can do for the DaVinci app. This is the showcase stage where all the VET keys changes have been integrated. DaVinci is really an alternative to common AI chat apps with the goal to provide an AI assistant that truly works in the user's best interest and is not potentially biased by the organization behind it. It's open source, so the code base here and it also uses open source projects, specifically Web LLM, which allows the large language model to be loaded via the browser on the user's device and to actually run there. Of course, DaVinci also uses the internet computer and is thus decentralized, um, even more so because the large language model and thus this AI assistant runs on the user's device and nothing has to leave the device. So we see we're not logged in, but we can still use it. So to give it a test message here. And everything that's being generated really runs on the user's device. There's no cloud service or something involved. Now to access more features, the user needs to log in. And this was really also the challenge that brought me to that case because how can chats that are being stored still remain private? And uh, that case was really the solution I was looking for. So we see as the user, we can choose if we want to store chats at all. And then also on this stage, whether they should be encrypted. And we do this via that case. So we can provide a second message here and you see it still works um, the same way as before. So that key is really um, helps us to encrypt all the messages before they are being sent to the backend where they are being stored. And then when we retrieve a chat, the chat messages are being decrypted. As well as when we, for example, load the preview here. And also when we go to my chats, you can see these uh, preview messages, they first are being decrypted before they are being displayed. Let's look into some of the integration details. We're using VIT as a bundler here, and this package specifically to make the uh, provided code available as a package. So this is just being copied in here. And then we can use it as a, a normal library um, in our application. The first thing we do is initialize the WASM, and after that's done, we can actually uh, go ahead and use it. When the user logs in, we call this init encryption function, which initializes a crypto service, which we then make available everywhere to be used. Specifically, we use it to encrypt all the messages before we um, store them and also the first message which we use as a preview and then when we load a chat to decrypt it. As I said there are a few more functionalities like the my chats overview but also this uh, option to load a previous chat where we show this preview message and they as well decrypt the preview before it's being displayed. Thank you for this feature. I'm really excited to see it being released into production and then also to release it in production for the DaVinci app. Thank you and bye-bye.